Ari, how are you? Ari? Ari, how are you? Now I would like to call our most reverend Tante Kapolo to open the gathering with the with the prayer. Comrade Tutoni, thank you very much. I will divide your short presentation in two parts, A and B. The A is when you start addressing us in English. And I'm sorry to tell you that that is not um, weight much value. But when you move to Mukuru Njambi and Kalunga, Kanangombe, then my heart starts beating. Because you are now really talking to the, to the creator of the earth, whom we call Jambi, Mukuru, or even if you're going to Angola to Mbundu, Suku. Mm. Yeah. Um, this, this has much meaning to us. Because Tatekuru, in today's world, people, when they celebrate the birthdays, there's something which I don't like. Because they always referring us to the song of the Queen in England, which does not carry any meaning at all. Because it's just a repetition of um, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. There's nothing else you can uh, take from there. But when it comes to the African vernaculars, the well wishes for the birthday, it carries much weight and it has much meaning. On the 12th, around 11 o'clock, I sang that song for you when you said I should come over here. And it goes like this. I know that we cannot do it in Shona in the Bede because of the time. But in the northern Namibia, when we said, Ari titi ti, ari titi ti, mkunde wimyo, vura yaroko, mzimo watano, katuke ako. Ari titi ti means praising. That's why people... Kunde wimi, beans, has bring fruit. Mzimo watana, okanuke. The clan has been expanded because a new member has come. Did, did you see the meaning? It's completely different from happy birthday, happy birthday. So we came here because Okantu, Keako, Okokeri, Gashingei, Evromirongo Mugoi, Nandatu. That yes, as we are here now, we come facing to you, all of us, you and me. Because in, the, in your Shuango, there's a proverb. You cannot translate that in English. When you speak, your spirit is coming to us. It's a spirit of wisdom, the spirit of longevity, the spirit of joy and happiness. And this is all of us. You can look at us, all of us. When we are talking, we are looking at you. We want you, your spirit, to come to us. Because you are a blessing to this nation. And God chose you with a purpose. And I'm happy to hear that you are still willing to give to the University of Namibia but about also, don't forget about your children. <laughs> don't forget about your children. <laughs> because God has given you two types of children. Biological 
whom you need to, to look after them, and you have us citizens, the UNAP, you want us to be educated as Namibians, but we have these children also. They want to have something from you so that they say, this was our father. When you give to Yuna, think also a little one, little portion, he said, that's for you. And this is how we have been brought up by our ancestors. May God, who gave you us as a gift, in the family, in the country, and in the world, will bless you with many more years to come. Kuku, we are blessed. When the nation have a good luck, it's because the one who lit the fire has the best heart. As a first lady, former first lady, you are the one who have enlightened the fire of Namibia. And that will never, no one else will take that away from you. I know that you can really be littering yourself. Who am me? I? But to God, this is why we are here. May God bless you as you continue to enlighten. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Every father, the food is a sign of joy. The food is a sign of happiness. When our ancestors sing that song, they are giving praise to you because a newborn has come into the earth. A new member has joined the family. But this was a very special 93 years ago. No one was aware in the little village of Etunda that this boy, when people they say Ali Tititi, they were hailing the one who is going to lead the liberation struggle. And you have blessed us with him, with strength, to the age of 93. Well, thank you, Lord. When we talk about the three in one, the Trinity, and the last years of his 93, forming your spirit, your three, your Trinity, continue as your creator, Give him salvation as your savior, Jesus Christ, but above all, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of courage, the spirit of give, the spirit of longevity. Make it with him today and always. So bless this food and this gathering. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Comrade. Thank you. And therefore, if you want to say something, I give you the floor. My dear wife, my dear children, my dear comrades, it is an honor for us to have this opportunity to meet. But an opportunity should always be for the future generation. We should not talk for our own interest. My interest, first and foremost, is the unity of SADAC, Southern Africa Development Corporation, to become part of the African Union with the headquarters in Addis Ababa. This was formed by great leaders of Africa, such as Gamara Abdullah of Egypt. Egypt played a very important role in the unity of 
Africa, supported by Ghana at the by Secretary of Ukraine, by that. Now, here in Namibia, we must play a role, very simple one, and that is God has given us this land. The harbor of World's Bay today, as we are sitting here, is the harbor of Sadak. Why? Because all the shipping line normally travel from the United States of America, Canada, and the whole of Europe. And normally, passes from here go to Cape Town to deliver goods for South Africa. But as we are talking here, oil that makes the ship, the ship to move become expensive. The harbor of World's Bay <coughs> is today the harbor of Sadak and Africa as a whole. Now, it is therefore our duty and responsibility to make sure that every Namibia child attend the kindergarten, primary school, secondary school, and at the university level, in order for us to build a strong nation. And also, I wanted to go back to Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah said that Africa must unite in order to make sure that this continent become a great respected continent of Africa for Africans and for those who respect Africa. We believe that a united people striving to achieve a common good for all members of the society will always emerge victorious. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we must start eating now, and uh, we ask the uh, before we start eating, maybe for me to to express my sincere thanks to the staff of State House, the PAs, all the staff members, uh, the security people who have been taking care of our mother and our father. We sincerely thank you. They are here because of you. So we would like to pay a special tribute as the children to our colleagues here whom we see who are daily, day and night. They are aging and they are with them, looking after them. So all of us, let's give a, a round of applause to the staff of of this house and uh, to express our sincere appreciation for the hard work, the cooking, and my wife also and uh, my colleagues from Utoni Nioma residents who have also worked hard throughout the night to make sure that we, we share this day with all of you. Thank you very much. I think now the time for us to eat. Then founding president and father of the Republic of Namibia. <laughs> And you know your common words. And we are with you. A people so. united, striving to achieve a good for all members of society, will always emerge victorious. Thank you for being the most helpful and caring Tatekuru to our family. And we wish you longevity and great health from Asino and family.
Caputo, Caputo, Edra. Mama, what you say? Who wants a red one? Oh, okay. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for everyone for coming on this very special occasion of the 93rd birthday of our father, grandfather. Father of the nation, we love you so much and we thank this country. So we wish you more years, many more years, good health and happiness and strength to keep doing, uh, achieving all your dreams and your goals. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! And everybody present in this house, look the example of what is true love. Our Tekulu and our Tatekulu. And I've been telling my brother, my brothers and my sister, which is Utoni, Nefungo, and Suda. Let us see the example of our mothers and our fathers. We, we are proud of you guys. The way you have shown us what is love in this world. Keep it up. And Tatekulu, we wish you to reach the years that Wakondo has reached. 
and with that you reach with the help of Mekulu. And we are very proud of you. Thank you everybody for being here and happy birthday to our parents. We love you very much. And we will wish everybody to drive safely back home where we came from, just with the blessings of our parents. We love you very much. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.